The Handyman Remodeling Center in Sioux Falls usually helps customers with their own remodeling projects, but after the mess left behind by straight line winds last week, they have some huge remodeling projects of their own. KDLT's Miranda Page takes a look. This is one of the biggest remodeling projects to happen at the Handyman Remodeling Center. The company says they were hit by straight line winds. Wind got under the roof and blew the decking and the insulation and rubber roof right off of the building so water could come in and damage everything. The ceiling collapsed. The displays in the front of the store were damaged. All of our onyx tops or vanity tops and cabinets, showers, toilets, every, the ceiling came down on everything so it's scratched and some of it's broken you know, not repairable. But luck was on their side. Their stock and special orders in the back room were untouched. The store is coming together, but there's a lot of work left to do. Clean this up, new floor, new ceiling, several new windows, uh, new displays. While they work on cleaning up the mess and remodeling, they move to a temporary location. To here at Southcliff Avenue, which used to be the business's original location. So it's retro handyman. The business opened at 1101 Southcliff Avenue in 1970, before moving in 1994. For 10 years, the owners leased the building out to LifeScape. Then LifeScape decided to move out. Luck was again on the handyman's side. They moved out on the 9th of September, and on 11th of September, we called them and said, because they had the lease till the end of the month, and I said, hey, Rick, um, can we use the building? Merchandise was temporarily moved here so that the business can stay open. Employees have had to adapt to this temporary situation. We help people every day. That's all we do is help people. And so they get frustrated when they can't help somebody. So when somebody comes and needs a part, we don't have it right now, or we have a runner, designated runner, he's running back and forth. They say the support from the community has helped, and they're confident that this 79-year-old business will bounce back from the storm. In Sioux Falls, Miranda Page, KDLT News. The owners hope to be back in their store within 60 to 90 days.